Hey guys. I swear I start every vlog. I look so crusty and I feel dead. Like Advil. How many do I take? These look like M&M's. Oh. Okay, so basically, today is Saturday. And I had this whole plan, like I was gonna wake up early, like go to a cute cafe and do stuff. And I genuinely did wake up at eight and I was like awake, but I felt like absolute shit because I got like two shots yesterday and it was just side effects, I guess. My whole arm hurts. Um, And I, I got like a lot of hours of sleep last night. I went to bed at like 10.30. Woke up at 8, went back to bed, and now it's like 12.30. Um, but I found this cute cafe that I'm going to go to. I have to do like an online CPR course or whatever. And then I have just like a couple books that I wanted to like read and be like cute and aesthetic. So we're going to do that. Um, I tried inviting friends and they all said no. So. Just me. So yeah, let's go get ready. Okay. He hates me. Okay, guys, I'm not really sure what I feel about the fit, but I think it's fine. It's just like a cozy, nothing too crazy fit. Um, I don't feel like putting on the tripod. <sighs> but, and then my mom's like, oh, where are you going? And I was like, oh, to the cafe. She's like, with who? Myself. She goes, you're going to the cafe by yourself? Yes. It's called Skin Care or Self Care Saturdays, not me and like five other friend care Saturdays. And I just saw my friend said no, so. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even lift my arm. I used to be the biggest hater on claw clips. I low-key love them now, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're so, like, yeah, they're uncomfortable. But it's just so much easier to just throw your hair back. I hope I have good food, because I'm starving. Also, I don't know if anyone remembers how I said I lost this last video. I found it. It was literally in the drawer, just like it fell back. So, I'm just stupid. Okay. I've been breaking out recently and I'm really annoyed by that because it, I was on Accutane. So, whenever I start breaking out again, I like get so scared that I'm going to like have terrible acne again. What's in my bag? I'm going to bring my tote just because I feel like it fits the most. I have my laptop. I brought a couple books and journals. AirPods, pen, highlighter. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. Hey guys, I'm getting gas right now. But basically, it's 1.30. Um, my mom was yapping forever. She kept asking me all these questions, like all these things, like things I didn't know. My biggest red flag is that... I get so annoyed if someone asks question after question after question. I know that's bad, and I know that makes me a bad person, but I literally get so pissed off. I don't know why. Since it's already 1.30, I'll get there at like 2-ish. If it closes at 3, I wouldn't be there for that long. So I'm trying to find somewhere else. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for like a cute cafe or like place where like you can just like sit and like do work but like not feel pressured like I feel like I don't want to like go to like a restaurant not a restaurant but like like a diner there is this one place near me hey guys I'm back it's five now I was there for three hours well I had to do a CPR course online so that took like an, about an hour so I did that so if anyone's like choking or whatever you know who to go to and then secondly so i got this journal well i journaled also but then i also got this other thing it's burn after writing i filled up the whole book it was so i really liked it It was just like all these life questions and it really made me reflect on life and i feel like it really helped me find like an inner peace i know like obviously like wow that girl two hours like you can't just flip up and find an inner peace in two hours but it truly helped me reflect on life and realize what's important in life and like all the bad experiences you go through they happen for a reason and 
you can't like my big problem in life is I always look back and be like oh I wish I could change this I wish I could change that I wish I did this differently but at the end of the day it happened for a reason and also the way you reacted you reacted that way for a reason if you like look back and you're like oh i was so over dramatic but in that moment you truly felt that feeling like let's say like your boyfriend cheated on you and then you go and like you like yell at him like cry like all this stuff and then later you're like god like i really wish i didn't show him my emotions i wish i just like pretend like he didn't like mean that much to me but if he did, it's not a bad thing to show your emotion. And that's where it's like looking back, cause I feel like that's definitely something I would do is like be emotional. Like I'm a very reactive person, be reactive in the moment. And I actually did have this, how to deal with this um, earlier this week because something happened with a guy I liked and I was very reactive in the moment. And then a week later, we like sat down, had a whole, like I asked him to have a whole conversation and like before I was like, I wish I wasn't as reactive, but the way I reacted is because I felt that way in that moment. And if looking back, I feel differently, that's fine. That means I've grown that much in that short amount of time. And one thing I definitely recommend, which I was so happy because I mean, I'm not going to explain really the situation because, um, I don't want people to like see and like know who I'm talking about, but basically something big happened and I try, I'm a very communicative 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 I like communication basically and um in the moment I was very reactive and like he was not communicating with me and I got upset like completely like cut him off everything and then a week later I was like no like we need to like sit down and talk this out just even to like have this inner peace and it was basically my last chance to have him either be honest with me or lie to me and he chose to lie to me again so I knew I was better off without them and it really helped me find that inner peace and I feel like cutting someone off is not always the way to go I don't know why I'm like starting to be so deep I feel like I could definitely like talk about this for hours I feel like I should like next um video basically treat it like a podcast and just be talking for hours because I honestly like this topic is something so big I can talk about I truly feel like I have changed as a person so much even like these past few months and I just like love looking back and reflecting on life and realizing how different I used to be and not even like being embarrassed of who I used to be but like seeing like wow I've grown that much type thing so anyways I'm gonna go home um, and then a friend just called me so Sydney if you guys remember her and like another one of her friends we might go like mini golfing or do something fun i don't know she just called me and she's like you want to do something because i asked her to go to this sh coffee shop with me and she said no but she was busy anyways um so yeah I'll, like, I'll see you in later okay guys i just got back i was hanging out with my friends like you knew we went mini golfing and it was actually really cool because it was like dang i look pale it was um like glow in the dark it was really cool it was kind of trippy but it was like cool so yeah and then i'm just gonna watch a show with my parents so anyways hey guys i'm actually really loving this top i thrifted it and like when i first got it i was like unsure i was like i don't know if i like it or not i did though so bye guys